Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. And oh god, if you watch this video, for sure this video is going to be a bit long, and it, there's a high chance that you won't be able to understand it in the one go. And I don't speak it for any problem in general. It's actually a very, very, very good problem. It has so many tricky cases that it will be actually very. Take a pen, a paper, and actually either get the notes from actually the link below and open it simultaneously and then look at this it's actually a very good problem cool it has so many so many points so many hints to actually reach the intuition itself intuition is easy as soon as we start to build the solution you will actually start to see okay many wrong answers coming in but then at every step you will see okay it is not there okay i added this it is not there i added this and so on cool let's quickly jump on the question uh, the variance the substring with the largest variance now the variance of a string is defined as the largest difference between the number of occurrence of any two characters present in a string so if i have a string i will choose any two characters of that string i will get the number of occurrences in that string and the largest difference between any such two characters in that string right the largest difference of the frequencies of any two characters in that string its difference is called as a variance which you have turned us now uh, note that the two characters may or may not be same but they will when i say two characters it needs to be different because if they are same which means let's say a so both the characters are same both are same so both have the same frequencies which means if i have a a so a has a frequency 2 another a has a frequency 2 both of them have has a frequency 2 so the difference will be nothing but 0 so difference will for sure be 0 if the characters are same so i will try to choose the characters as different because for sure the character even if i take a one single a so a frequency 1 another a itself this a itself have a frequency same one so it's just the difference will be actually be a zero so for short i will just take try to have a two different characters right now i have given a string s consisting of a lowercase english letters firstly yeah it's another big thing lowercase english letters only now i have to return the largest variance possible among all the substrings of f s so one major thing comes in mind is okay i will are in what i will do is i will try to make all the substrings of s and then maybe from that i will try to figure out what is the largest variance of every substring but i'll say that it is not possible to generate all the substrings of my string s because the constraints are pretty large so i cannot generate all the substrings cool one thing is gone that i cannot generate all the substrings but as we were looking at okay what is the variance like it is nothing but count one minus count two when i say count one it is and i am choosing two different characters two characters i'm choosing why different it is said okay it can be same or different but we saw we will not keep it as same we will keep it as different okay i am choosing two different characters and i'm concerned about the frequencies of those characters in that string although i'm looking for substring but let's imagine that substring is also itself a string so i am concerned about the frequencies of two characters of two characters in my actual string <laughs> so it just says one thing i'm concerned about the frequency of characters and characters how many two characters two characters so i'm just concerned about two characters in that string so why not why not why to take the entire string entire all these substrings just take two characters and then see that where they are in the string itself so what i will do is i will just get all the two characters possible now for one character i have 26 options which means from a to z for the next character also i have 26 options which is a to z so i can have a 26 into 26 possible number of options for a character pair which means a b b a c a and so on and so forth so basically it is one character pair one character a one character b then let, let's say in this example i have one character a one character b that is the one character pair i'm concerned of in this particular string now one thing i would know okay i can look i can go in the character way which means i can go and look for the characters rather than the string because i know i'm only concerned about two characters so why to look for other characters in that string so i'm not concerned about the string i'm not concerned about the characters of that string so for sure i just got to know one thing okay i'm concerned about the characters now imagine that i have taken two characters as a and b which means for character one for the first first character i take as a for the next character i take as b 
right now i'm assuming this okay it is one such case i am taking now what i was concerned initially was to find the substring such that the count when i say count it means the frequency of a it is the frequency of b right the count is the frequency of that character it needs to be maximum which is just is the difference is nothing but the difference of occurrence occurrence which means frequencies is nothing but variance so this variance needs to be maximized right and it is in it needs to be and in the string s and if i look and read this thing again which i have to do my task is to find the substring or my task is to find the maximum variance variance is nothing but the difference in this string s I can also say if I just replace this count by some other variable, which means I had the A, B, A, B, A, B, B, right? Now, I am concerned about saying, hey, bro, can you just give me out the maximum variance? So for that, my B will be subtracted from A. I will do a count A minus count B, which means one is added and other is being subtracted. Let's take this example itself. It was a B, A, B, B, B right so you can easily see that the variance count is nothing but simply a simply a two because it is nothing but let's say it is one it is minus one it is one it is one it is one if i just do simple and try to find the maximum sub array sum from this particular array then i will simply get okay it is it get cancelled it is a three which I will get as a maximum sub array sum from this entire array. But no worries in this part. If we quickly go back and read this, my task is to find the substring such that count A minus count B is maximized such that in that in this particular string S maximum, it is trying to find the maximum sub array. Sub array is nothing but substring and sum. Why sum? Because I'm concerned about this particular sum count A minus count B count a minus count b it can and when i say count a it, it can be plus one plus one plus one plus one and it can be minus one which means if i just count a as one 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 count b as one 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 which means frequencies and then that a b a b a b c b a b a b a so it will be something like making a string a b a b c b b a now for every corresponding a i can place a one for every every corresponding b i can place a minus one then one then minus one then zero then minus one then minus one then one so now i have transformed my string into actually an array of ones and minus ones and for this array i want the maximum sub array sum Right. And this maximum sub array sum to find the maximum sub array sum or most optimal algorithm for this is the current algorithm. If you know, if you don't, then I highly recommend it. You should be knowing this. It's a very standard algorithm. If you don't, then you have not got and you have not um, completed our DSF 169 series. It has a specific algo for current algorithm. So please, please, please do that. DSF 169 series. Now, now you know, okay. A slight intuition that maybe Cadenz algorithm can be applied. Maybe for that, uh, we need to make sure of what we were doing already. I was getting a count A minus count B, which means I need to make sure that my count of A, which means count of A as A as a character and count of B as a character should be both of both of them should be more than zero. And I didn't why both of them should actually be existing because. I am doing a count of A minus count of B. It can happen that a count of A is actually, let's say, 4. Count of B is actually 0, which means no B is present, which means only A is present. When I say only A is present, which means count of A is 2, count of B is 0. It is saying that count of A minus count of B is the variance. It is 2 minus 0. Is, it, is, the, is the variance 2? No, it is not. Because if there are only same characters, it will be nothing but A frequencies minus A frequency itself. So that's the reason I just said we need to have two distinct characters and to say, okay, I am having two characters. I, I would say, okay, both characters have at least some frequencies, at least some frequency both characters should have. If they have, then their difference will actually give me a variance. So one thing for sure you can get to know is that, okay, if I am trying for those characters A and B, then both of them should have a frequency, which means both of them should have a count. Only then I can actually update my answer. Else I cannot apply. Else I, I, can, I cannot update. Now, we have a 
अब रफ आइडिया ओके आर कडेन्स कैन बी अप्लाइड आई कैन थिंक ऑफ दिस करेक्टर्स ए एंड बी एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग दो करेक्टर्स ए एंड बी टू एक्चुअली नंबर्स एंड देन मे बी फ्रॉम दैट आई कैन अप्लाय समथिंग एज कडिन्स एंड एल्गोरिथम और मे बी इफ आई कैन नॉट अप्लाई द कडिन्स डायरेक्टली देन मे बी सम आइडिया ऑफ कडिन्स आई कैन यूज टू एक्चुअली गेट द मैक्सिमम सब एरे सम राइट नाउ क्राउ कम्स In standard cadence algorithm, because see, now I have idea. Maybe cadence something like that can be applied. But in standard cadence, what we were thinking was okay. If I have a string s as let's say a a a b. Now for every corresponding a, I can place a one, and for every corresponding b, I can place a minus one, and for other characters, I will simply place a zero. If I just start to apply cadence, then what will happen is again the issue that. it will not consider the fact that both are actually existing which means both needs to be present which means if i start to apply cadence okay maximum sub as some 1 2 3 as soon as okay my maximum sub as some has been updated to 3 as soon as the minus one came in it will become a 2 but it will not update my maximum sum it will still is giving me a 3 so it will give me answer as 3 but you will see that okay if i get answer as 3 so it is considering only the a's and not b's so still there is a Also, I could have applied cadence, but as I directly apply cadence, it will give me answer as three. But considering answer as three, it is only considering A's, but not a B. So I need to modify and not use cadence directly and use something of maybe the count of character one and the count of character two, which means count of character A and count of character B, and then maybe apply some operations to actually get actual result. Because directly apply cadence will give me a value, and this value it can it can be high. But here if we saw. it was not considering it was not considering the b and it should have considered the b because we have known that both the, the both the characters which we are considering right now should be present so simply so directly cadence maybe we can not apply but we can use something like that because we know the count of a and count of b both of them should be more than 0 now i know that okay i took two characters two distinct characters taking the string back as again a a b and b a a a and b now for sure i am concerned about count of a minus count of b now i am right now consistently con con consistently saying count of a minus count of b but a and b are just two characters i have took initially and i can have exactly 26 into 26 such pairs of characters right as we saw it is just from a i took here and from b i took here but i can have options of a to z and a to z for both of them so now going forward rather than count of a and count of b let's take it as count of 1 and count of 2 count of 1 representing count of first character it can be a b any is anything but yeah we just assume okay a and b so count of 1 is the count of first character count of 2 is the count of second character now first thing first thing first thing as you saw in this that we only updated our answer when the count was actually more than equal to 0 so in the code later you will see although i'll explain the code again but yeah in the code later later you will see you updating your answer answer only and only when your both the count both the character count are actually more than 0 it is maximum of answer comma count of my count to we will see that don't worry for that part but yeah updating the answer only when we actually have both the characters count more than equal to 0 now coming back to okay i am concerned about what i am concerned about count 1 minus count 2 because exactly what what, what i want is variance variance is the word count 1 minus count 2 count of character a and count of character b now aryan how to do it uh, no worries see what i was thinking of okay we know that the minimum answer can always be 0 so for short sure, i know that minimum answer is always be 0 Uh, why why is that case because if we take only one character let's say only one character a because for sure in a string i can choose only one character if i choose only one character it is nothing but count and it was saying that i can use i can choose the same characters also may or may not be same if i choose the same character that is a now frequency of a is 1 minus frequency of a is again 1 so it will always give me a zero so the same character will always give me a variance of zero so for sure my answer will always be at least zero if we take just one character right so one thing is for sure if i take one character my answer is for sure zero and i'm concerned about the variance which is nothing but count 1 minus count 2 so if my count 1 is less than if my count 1 uh, i hope the audio is nice if my count 1 becomes less than my count 2 which means count of character a if it becomes less than my count of character 2 so for sure this variance result will become negative 
If it becomes negative, we have to move it back to zero. Now, Aaron, how to think of it? Okay, we got to know that, okay, uh, if it becomes a negative, then we actually are not concerned of it. But if it is a negative, if, if the count one is less than my count two, okay, the answer will not be updated. But you just transform this both of them to zero. How you knew that? Because of the cadence itself. Because if you remember the cadence, what cadence says is if you are, and see, it's the exact same code of cadence algorithms from gigs for gigs, nothing I changed. If you have to study cadence, it's exactly the same. What it says is if your maximum ending, if it becomes less than zero, which means if you are having a sum, 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 if that sum, if it becomes less than zero, then please override that sum back to a zero. So I'm doing the same thing. I know that my sum is actually we are count one minus count two. So I'm concerned about, okay, if my count one becomes less than count two, it's of no use to me because it will result me a negative, negative contribution. And I know for sure zero is my best contribution I can have. So I will just bring both of them, count one and count two, bring both of them to a zero. It is a one such amazing thing which you have to remember that, okay, which we found out, okay, how simply getting, okay, I am just concerned about count one, count two and count one, count two. If anyone becomes less, for sure, other has to go and this count one minus count two is will become negative. But I am I know that my answer is actually minimum zero. So for sure, it needs to go somewhere. And I know from the standard contains also that if the sum becomes negative or less than zero, so simply update that back to a zero. And that you will see also see in the code that if your count one is less than count two, you will just simply see that, okay, both of count one and count two are actually going back to a zero. Now, now you have got the very high rough idea of how your um, count one and count two is being used, which is the count of both the characters, how your actually count one and count two, both of them should be present and how your maybe cadence is actually being applied in this. Now comes the actual, let's try to see that how I can use my count one and count two to actually go and find the maximum find the maximum sum, maximum variance, right? So I have a, as I said, I will take two, two characters, two distinct characters, because if I take the two same characters, both will have the same, the same, uh, you know, uh, frequency count. So both will have the same uh, frequency count. And with that, the variance will be actually zero. So I will take two distinct characters. Now, if I'm taking two distinct characters, I will represent the count one corresponding to the first character and count two corresponding to the second character. If I take two distinct characters as A and B, now I will just choose and start to actually apply my cadence here. But cadence, bit modified because earlier you saw in the cadence you were actually doing something like this but we saw we can we cannot directly apply cadence which means in this you could have said okay Arin, what i will do is i will make an array of count one minus count two count one minus count two and then i will apply cadence on it but i said no because you saw that you cannot apply directly cadence you have to apply individually on count one and count two and use that count one and count two and then apply cadence so okay i know that i have to use count one and count two and then apply cadence cool count one i will get Frequency of cutter A. Okay, it's one. Count two, nothing but zero. And for sure, my count one is more than count two. So I can move forward. I can move forward. I can update my answer. Updating my answer will say, okay, I can update my answer. Can I update? No, cannot. I cannot because count two is actually a zero. I can only update my answer. I can only update my answer. Answer with what thing? Answer with the variance. Because I am concerned about the variance. Variance, variance is nothing but count one minus count two. I can update my count one minus count two only when both are positive. Here we saw count one is one, but count two is zero. So I cannot update my answer. So no worries, just move on. And that's the same code which we saw above also. Count one is more than zero, count two is more than zero. I can update my answer with answer equals to answer, comma count one minus count two, which is nothing but the variance itself. Right? That is, I'm going to be applying the same stuff. Cool, going on to the next character, which is A. Count one becomes two, count two is nothing but zero. Simply, I cannot update my answer. Move on forward. Count one, three, count two, count two, zero. I cannot update my answer. Move on forward. Count one, three, count two, one. Simply, now I can update my answer. Update your answer with the answer equal to maximum of answer, comma, count one, count two. This will give me, I considered both of the characters A and B and also giving me that, okay, right now, up till this point, right now, the maximum variance possible for this is three minus one, which is actually a two. And you can also see the variance actually a two because A and character, the two, the two characters will remain. 
for this you know okay you got to know one thing that how you can actually use count one and count two, count two to actually update your answer in the earlier cadence algorithm what was happening was you were updating your simple maximum so far with nothing but maximum ending here and maximum ending here was nothing but your count one count one minus count two but you saw that you have to break this down count one and count two and then update your answer so you just broke this down to count one and count two itself and then update your know, update your answer but aryan uh, you just took it as a a and b but i can also have a string as uh, b b b a so right so i can also take it as a b a b and a so here you will see okay if i take as a and b as the characters so it 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 won't be having that number but you can see still the variance is actually two for this case also so just taking the characters because you know that you have to try for all distinct characters which means you know that you have to try for all distinct characters all distinct characters a to z a to z so here initially i got a ab next time i will i will also get a ba so for sure that ba will handle such kind of cases your ba will handle where is that gone your ba will handle such kind of cases or such kind of string where i have b b b a and such kind of strings so for sure i will get covered because i have all the distinct pair which i will try on so aryan is it done are we good because we could see that okay i was able to try for every such things and i know that as soon as anything becomes which means count one is less than becomes count two i will simply revert all of them back to zero so that i can try off again and start off again from scratch which means from count one count two will start from scratch itself as what happens in the cadence itself it just lands to zero and then starts back again from scratch but if we have something like and that is just one edge case which you had to figure out although up till now it is entirely done but it's just one edge case where it will fit if we have something like b a a now if you take and choose as a and b as the characters okay character one as a character two as b now for that if you just try to go and apply simple cadence simple modified cadence which you have seen earlier so you will get the count one which is nothing but count of character a it's zero count two which is count of character two which is count of character b is actually a one but as we saw here count of character one and ultimately you saw what one thing i have to do a count one minus count two right which means count one minus count two and count one should be always more than equal to count two if it is less and you can see it is less so update both of them back to zero so i saw earlier here very clearly that okay count one and count two count two is actually more than my count one it is violating my condition so i have to revert both of them back to zero by reverting both of them back to zero what happened was it count to again became a zero aryan uh, why are you reverting back can't we take the absolute difference can't we take the absolute value of this no we cannot why because you saw earlier in in this we don't take the absolute we are always concerned about their values because if we take the absolute then it won't work so here in this case count is if count was less than count two you have to make sure because in cadence the main idea behind it is as soon as it, it it touches the negative please drop it down to zero and then start it again so that is the reason i don't i can't take it as absolute because i want it to touch negative so that i know that okay it is done it is giving me lesser value i have to start again from scratch and from for that i have to start and put all of them back to zero that's the reason i can't take absolute value for this now coming back okay uh, i will just get count one again as one because for sure a is coming count of character one count two is back to zero count one again as two count two again back to zero you saw in none of the cases my answer was updated to value which means by this if i just take and for sure if you ask if you if you just started saying okay Aryan, uh, you took as a and b but what of what if you do if you take the character as b and a no worries if you take the first character as a b next character as a, a still what will happen is count of one will actually be a one count of two will actually be a zero cool no worries count of one will actually be a one count of two will actually be a one cool no worries here your answer will update, answer will update to zero but as soon as you will go on count of one will actually be a one count of two will actually be a two here you will see again it is violating the condition so again both of them will revert back to zero so updating your answer it will maximally get updated by the value as zero but still you could see that the maximum variance is actually a one and not zero so for sure what we are missing here what we are missing here simply we are missing just one thing we just evaluated my b initially and not a initially if we had evaluated the a initially then 
B would have come later. So this thing would not have mattered to us. What I mean by that is, if we just reverse this string down, if we just reverse this string down, that's the operation which we have to do. If we reverse it, that was a B A A, right? If we reverse it down, A A B. Now apply the same stuff. Character A as character, uh, one, character uh, the, the character 1 as A, character 2 as B. Simply count of 1 is nothing but 1, count of 2 is 0. Cool, no worries, answer will not get updated. Count 2, count 1 as 2, count 2 as 0. Cool, answer will not get updated. Count 2 as 1, count 2 as, sorry, count 1 as 2, count 2 as 1. Now, actually, my answer will get updated by count 2 of mine, count 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is giving me the variance as 1. That is how even if I have some pattern of B, because I know, I know, I am only doing count 1 minus count 2. I am only doing count 1 minus count 1 minus count 2. But it can happen that, okay, count 2 is more. So, I earlier was thinking of taking absolute because of this thing. But I know I cannot take absolute because of cadence standard variation. That I, I have to update, I have to use the cadence, uh, in like, it, like, the cadence ability to actually drop it down to an, drop it down to a negative number so that I can again start from the zero and go on increasing positive. So I know that I cannot take absolute, but I still have in the back of my mind. Okay, I need to utilize the absolute power of this absolute thing, which means I need to say, okay, if the count two is more and count one is less, still I I can get some I can get some variance. So rather than taking absolute, what I did was I just simply and I knew that I cannot take absolute. So what I did was I simply reverse this down so that okay, count two will actually become count one and count one will become a count two. So it will by simply reversing it down, the pattern became like this. Now my count two will always be my and my count one sorry my, my count one will be more and my count two is less now i can update my answer with the help of this reverse thingy so what i did was you will see in the code that i reversed my string down and again i tried to update my answer and that you will see now Aryan, how you update, update your count one count one is as i told you is nothing but getting your that character if it is equal to the character you have chosen so this ch1 and CH2 are the two characters which I will try to choose out of the 26 into 26 character. So if this first character is a CH1, this next character it is nothing but CH2. And that CH1 I will try for all from A to Z. And this CH2 I will again try for all from A to Z. And then I will just simply go and keep on. I will simply go and keep on updating my count of 1 and count of 2 as I keep on, as I keep on going in my string. Right and see you can easily see initially it is initialized to zero, which means both accounts are initially zero. As I am keep on going at every character, I am keep on getting it's okay. If it is a character one, please simply increase the count one. If it's a character two, please simply increase the count two. Now, now you know everything exactly. Let's quickly see the code because see now you know okay how we thought of okay it is having cadence now we used we are using something of cadence but we saw okay we cannot directly apply cadence then we saw okay we can use count one and count two but we saw okay count one and count two if count one is less than count two then okay we have to revert both of them back to zero okay if the count one and count two both are actually there then only we can update our answer because we update our answer in the cadence itself now we when we were actually seeing okay we also saw okay it's also always not possible that I was thinking that maybe if I could add an absolute because I could see count two maybe more but count one is less but in my problem I was saying count one is always high and count two is always low so I was thinking of absolute but I know that I cannot apply, apply absolute so I was thinking okay let's try to reverse it and then from reversing I will just shuffle the values so that my count one will, be, will become more and count two will become less and so that I can subtract the values and still use my cadence here. That is how it that's the reason I, I just said it's very tricky that okay it has many such spots many such threads many such blocks to actually link and hop onto again and again that's the reason if you just try it by yourself you will get many wrong answers and then you will understand oh it is one such thing oh it is it's one such thing and everything is linked to each other and that is all the links I showed you guys let's quickly see the code it's pretty 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 simple firstly. I will update and keep track of the frequency of every character and why is the frequency needed as I told you that whenever I am taking two characters two distinct characters a and b I should make sure okay both the characters are actually present so if I am taking the string as a b b a b b b so if I choose if I choose a character if I choose the character and as I showed you that okay I can choose 26 into 26 characters right so if I choose the characters ch1 as a and c h2 as c you will see that c is not there so it will only only and only go for doing a's but I need to take two characters 
but C I took it, but it is not there. So what's the use of taking C at all? So that's the reason. If you had to take a C, so C should be there. And that's the reason you can only take C. Else it will just keep on coming and the count will always be a zero for that C. So that's the reason I just initially take, okay, if you have that frequency, only then you should go in my loop. Else you should, like you are not required for me. So I just take the frequency of every character to just make sure, okay, I am actually using that in my loop itself. Now, what I will do is, I will try for every of those pairs, 26 and 26, A to Z, A to Z. And as I told you that, okay, I will take the distant characters. If the characters are equal, I will simply skip it. Or if any character have the frequency as zero in my actual string, now I don't need it, which means if the character one has the frequency as zero, I don't need it. If the character two has frequency as zero, I don't need that pair. I need only that pair which have, which both of them should be in my actual string cool if any one of them is actually not there simply continue or if both of them are same simply continue because i know if both of them are same answer will for sure be zero so answer i initialize already with zero so i don't need to go on it now as i was saying i need to also i need to try for the actual string s yes, but i also need to try for the reverse string so i just take two it this loop will go just two two times in the actual string for the first time and in the reverse string for the next time. So you know that, okay, why we need to reverse it? You remember, right? That's the reason I will just simply remove this loop two times. First time the actual string S, next time the reverse string S. Now, now comes, okay, it will have the count one and count two, the count of character one, the, the, the count of character A, the count of character one, the count of character two, both are initialized with zero because both are initially are zero. As we are going on in my string, I will simply update the count of both the characters if the character C I am I I got so far if it is actually a character one simply update the count one if it is character two simply update the count two if as we saw earlier if the count one is less than count two I cannot I cannot I cannot go forward please both of please make both of them to zero and it's a standard cadence thing now if both of them are actually actually there only then update your answer with the maximum answer and maximum answer answer as in the variance variance, variance is nothing but count one minus count two itself cool and then when it is done for the actual string s please go and reverse the string s and then again it will go on because the loop is up till two points so it will again go on and again just try to do the same stuff for the reverse string s and ultimately you will get the maximum answer which is the maximum variance of all the substrings possible and how all the substrings because we try for all the possible pair of characters as you saw that you try for all the character pair which is 26 to 26 and for every character pair a and b you just try to go on in the string and just do a cadence for that cadence itself it's a o of n and for getting the every character pair it's nothing but 26 to 26 and for sure the space of using unordered map or frequency map is nothing but o of 26 and that's how you can just simply get it the code is down below uh, i hope that you guys got it if not then i will highly 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 recommend please listen that with a peace of mind it's actually not an easy problem i am saying it like the, it's it's very rare i just say that okay it's not an easy problem it's actually a tricky one it's actually very tricky so that's the reason and it's actually very good very 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 good because cadence being a standard algorithm like application of cadence is somewhere you will see rarest in your life and that is this problem so yeah take care bye bye